Hello and welcome to my channel, Jada Creative Wonderer. In this video, you will see that I am painting a nature goddess-like figure. It was inspired by a photo that I found on a photo stock app called Pixels. So, I really like using uh, stock photos because I don't have to worry about copyright issues or anything like that and plus it kind of helps uh, photographers who are trying to make a living so they get a small portion for every person that downloads their image so I would recommend doing that and helping the photographers out there and it doesn't cost you anything so yeah, it's a good it's a good method for finding good photos for inspiration. So, in this piece, I I wanted to try and paint a woman of darker skin tone cuz I never have before, but I I guess I thought it would be easier than it was and I, I didn't get her skin as dark as I wanted, so I think at another point I'm going to practice dark skin tones in my sketchbook. But I just was way too ambitious with this piece, and I just was like, ah, I don't need practice. I'm just going right in and doing it, and I think it turned out well, but, uh, but I think it could have been better if I had just did a few studies on skin tone and maybe plan out what what flowers I wanted to do which I kind of planned the flowers as you can see in the the sketch but most of these flowers I ended up changing a little bit later on so like maybe the colors aren't quite the same or something's a little different from what I had initially had in my head and in the background I just had a bunch of different jungle like leaves of different shapes and different shades of green so I used Derwent ink tints okay so in this video I'm not going to tell you how I did this piece I'm not even sure how I would go about that I've never done a f tutorial, so, but I might try to do a tutorial in the future, but I don't think I could with something like this, because I just don't know how to articulate what I did and why I did things, so, it's, it's very hard to explain what methods I used in a painting, if that makes sense. So, for this video, I want to talk about art style and my journey to try and find an art style. If you're not interested in this topic, feel free to mute the video and just watch the speed painting if you wish. Alright, anyways, on to the topic. So, for I've been drawing for since I was about five years old and uh, when you're a little kid you're kind of just drawing whatever you see like you draw trees and flowers or you draw your favorite cartoon characters you know you're not really thinking about it and that's pretty much what I've done all my life for the most part I've just drawn what I see which there's nothing wrong about it with that. That actually is actually a great way to develop skills. And then when I was about 12 years old, I saw this book in a bookstore. And it was uh, The Art of Josephine Wall. And I just fell in love with her art. I'm From that moment on, I knew that... One day I wanted to paint like that. And today I'm nowhere near close to that. 
And there's a couple reasons for that. And one, I've just gone through different phases of not really giving it my all when it comes to developing my skills. And other reasons was because I kept straying from what I wanted to create. Or sometimes I just created what I thought people would buy. Which is a terrible thing to do because people buy all sorts of art. You don't have to cater to the public. So when, after I... After seeing that book, I didn't have the money for it at the time. It was like a $25 book and I was a 12 year old. So I had to wait till my birthday, get some money for my birthday. And I, I bought it immediately. And then I started drawing the paintings myself and just, and through copying Josephine Wall, I learned how to draw flowers and trees, butterflies, things like that. And I kind of learned a little bit about drawing animals, but not that much because I was drawing them very small. And to this day, I'm not that good at most animals. I'm pretty good with ocean animals, but that's because I've had a lot of practice with them. But I don't have a lot of practice with any animals with fur, like cats and dogs things like that i can't draw those anyways so after i bought that josephine wall book i bought other fantasy art books soon after that i bought art books by amy brown brian froud and so many others and when i bought their books i would just draw their paintings in my sketchbook and and that's not bad I learned different things I learned copying Amy Brown's artwork has actually helped me a lot to draw figures so I, I got better at drawing people and eventually I started a DeviantArt account and I was seeing so many different artists throughout the world with different styles. And I kind of strayed to different styles. I started drawing sexy fairy tale figures and other things. That, now, thinking about it, that's not what I wanted to create in the long run. I mean, it's what I wanted to create at the time because I was into it. But now I, I want to get back to doing fantasy stuff with bright colors and great detail. I want to be an artist like Josephine Wall. I don't want to be, I, want, I don't want my paintings to be exactly like hers. And they never will, even if I tried. But it's okay now I'm realizing it's okay to draw from other artists, but now I know that I need to draw specific elements from other artists, not everything. For instance, in this piece, I'm trying to use bright colors and have a lot of nature, and Josephine Wall does that in a way, but... It's not nearly as elaborate as her work. And that's because I'm also influenced by other artists that I've seen, whether on DeviantArt or Instagram. And I'm also doing what I can in the current skill set that I have. I don't have the skill set to paint or draw an entire world on one piece of paper or even on one canvas. It's just not, I can't do that. <laughs> but it may, perhaps in the future I can. So after middle school and high school, 
I stopped drawing for a while and I eventually started painting but I wasn't painting things that I wanted to paint because I didn't think I could and I was probably right I probably couldn't have painted anything like what I'm painting now at the time so I was started painting super simple uh, coastal things because I wanted to sell my work and I lived in a beachy area so tourists and locals are gonna want to buy paintings of fish and pelicans stuff like that and I didn't mind doing it I actually enjoy painting that kind of stuff for the most part but it's not what I want to be ultimately I don't want to just be a beach artist so I'm trying to create a balance right now I am drawing and painting a variety of things but I'm trying to be selective about what those things are so what does that mean well a lot of my ideals my not ideals my ideas for paintings and drawings that I want to do when I have all the skill sets it involve fantasy and surrealism and with fantasy and surrealism you can incorporate all sorts of things you can incorporate animals nature people so many things but in order to incorporate all those things you have to know how to draw and paint all of those things so even though it's not necessarily in the same theme, if I draw or paint a jellyfish or an octopus, that's going to help me eventually in the long run when I do want to paint maybe a mermaid with a bunch of sea life around her. Or if I practice painting jungle animals, snakes, lions, whatever, it would help me create a jungle-like goddess piece with all these different animals and plants. But I can't paint all those this grand image until I learn how to paint and draw the individual elements. So. So that's my plan for finding an art style. I am selectively practicing and drawing, practicing drawing and painting certain things that I know that I could eventually incorporate into something grander, more detailed, and more whimsical. So in the past, I made mistakes of just getting into painting things that wouldn't necessarily help me so for instance in the past couple months i tried painting buildings and just things here in taiwan which is fine because it's nice to have to create art based on this big moment in my life where i'm living in another country but at the same time I don't enjoy painting buildings. I don't like it. I did a few. And say I like them, but I don't want to paint them anymore. It's not for me. I like doing landscapes, though. Those are fun. And I could actually use landscapes for my future style that I'm aiming for. So, does that mean that if tomorrow I want to draw or paint a building, I can't? No, of course it doesn't. If I want to draw a building tomorrow, I can. But I just don't want to make that my main focus, if that makes sense. Um, so... So, 
I see a lot of videos on YouTube about artists giving advice about how to have a niche, like not posting different kinds of art on your Instagram. Because it, if you have so many different kinds of art, then people will not follow you, which I think is true. It is definitely true, but I think it is okay if you're not concerned with growing a following, which I know doesn't make sense because everyone wants to grow a following, but if you don't have a set style right now and you're, you don't know what you want to create, I think it's okay. But, I would like to add that I don't think it's okay to go super crazy diverse with your art. So, what I mean by that is, if you paint or draw realistically or as realistically as you can, and then the next day you post a very abstract piece that's not gonna be that's not gonna look good like but i think it's fine to draw and paint things in the same style but have different subject matters like if you one day you draw and paint a cake and then the next day you draw and paint uh an octopus i think that's fine as long as the way that you draw and paint those things look similar. And I think that is a great balance because if you're drawing and painting different things, you're not going to get bored. So, I would, so that's what I'm trying to do. I am just drawing and painting whatever I want so that I don't get bored and so that I'm also continually challenging myself to grow into a style. For a while, a couple years ago, I told you I was painting only coastal things. Well, I think that helped and hurt me. I, I, it helped me because I'm pretty good at painting fish and even coral reefs but from doing that I, I didn't I almost never drew or painted people or other types of animals I never did scenery except the occasional beach sunset so because I had such a big focus on sea creatures I there's so many things that I just don't know how to do like at all like even drawing this very simple portrait was a bit of a struggle because I'm so out of practice and Looking back, I'm actually, I was actually better at drawing people in high school than I am now, which is a great shame, and I need to get back into it. Alright, so I will leave you.